Hi, this is Brad Niehaus, Field DeGrasse with Pioneer Hybrid covering Southwest Kansas, Southeast Colorado, and the Oklahoma Panhandle. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, successful corn germination. Uh, the calendar turned to May. It is May 1st. Uh, I've got a jacket on. It's been pretty overcast. I mean, the sun finally came out, but it's pretty foggy this morning, and we've had quite a bit of cooler weather. Uh, this corn behind me has been in the ground a couple weeks now. Uh, we got a good stand, but it's probably behind where it should be. We just need some more consistent warm weather. Uh, but there's a lot of corn left to plant in this area. So let's talk about a couple things uh, to, to focus on as we're getting the rest of this crop in. Uh, first, obviously, is the environment. Uh, corn is a warm season crop. It likes warm temperatures. Uh, ideally, we'd like to have about 50 degrees in that three to four inch area and a favorable forecast going forward. We want, it, what we want to avoid is any cold stress on that uh, plant or that seed just after planting. Pioneer rates all of its hybrids with a stress emergence score from one to nine, nine being the best, one being the worst. Uh, under good conditions, most hybrids are gonna germinate okay. But if we have uh, a, a cold event uh, right after planting, that's where we can run into problems and where that stress emergence score is important. In fact, Pioneer's done quite a bit of research with this. And uh, if that first drink of water uh, that seed imbibes after planting is cold, a hybrid with a poor score is probably gonna have lose as much as 40 to 50% of, of the germination uh, compared to a hybrid with say a score of a six, seven, or an eight. We may lose some of that germination, but we're probably still gonna get 85, 90% of that seed germinated. So guys, going forward as we're planting this crop, let's look at that soil temp, let's look at that weather, and let's also look at your hybrids. What are the stress emergent scores for those hybrids? Uh, if they're pretty good, let's start with those. If they're kind of average to possibly below average, probably want to put those to the mid, to the uh, back side of your planting window. Uh, but if you have any questions about this, please reach out to your local sales agent or field agronomist such as myself. We'd be happy to answer those questions. Good luck with planting, and I promise you it will, it will warm up one of these days. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.